I wonder, I wonder if there's alligators. I'm looking for alligators. I'm an alligator wrangler now. Craft Beer Nerds, another vlog, another day out here in Florida. Man, last night was so amazing. Um, I went out to Hogan's Hangout, and Hawk Hogan was there with Jimmy Hart and his son Nick. So I had to do a little karaoke. So I did a little LL Cool J. Kelsey did too. She went up there and did karaoke. Pretty proud of her. She wasn't nervous at all. So I was like, all right. Jane and Greg went with us. Man, it was a freaking blast. It was an awesome time. It kind of felt a little bit surreal when I woke up. I was like, man, did I just perform in front of Hulk Hogan? <laughs> yeah, you know it, brother. Anyway, um, yeah, so today we're going to do a little bit of drinking, of course, um, getting some breweries. And, oh, I do want to tell you what happened at, uh, at this Hogan's Hangout. Tell me if you would agree or disagree on this. So we're sitting at a table at the VIP table. So it's right in front of like Hulk Hogan and we're seeing um, other people karaoke and stuff like that. Well, throughout the night, it started getting a little bit uh, busier. And, and this guy like put his cups on our table, like right in front of me. I'm getting a little irritated. So I picked the cup up and gave it to him and I said, no thanks. And he goes, what, what? I'm gonna sit my cup here. I was like, no thanks. And then he got mad and cussed me out a little bit and I cussed him out back. And then I told our, our waiter, our server, um, hey man, this guy's trying to put his shit on my table. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. Who does that? I, I would never do that. Why would you go up to somebody else's table, a VIP table, and just sit there and put your like empty cups in front of the person it's it's ridiculous anyway um that's it uh that's all i got kelsey's getting ready of course and i'm here doing a brisk a little a little walk I'm having a fun time in florida it's about 70 some degrees right now hey my hair whoa no hat um still growing my hair out it's gonna be funny once my hair gets l l longer and really long i'm gonna go back to this uh these vlogs and and probably cut my hair. No, no, I'm just kidding. I don't want to do it. I, all year, all year, no cutting hair. I'm going to do it. Everybody's saying, Kevin, Kevin, you're going to cut it. You're going to hate it. It's going to look stupid. Man, screw that. I like a challenge. So I'm going to do that. Oh my God, I've walked so far. I don't even know where I'm at. Anyway, I'm out of here. I found a tap room cat. Oh, it hates me. I got Asher Poo right here. He's finally out and about. And um, yeah, let's go drink some beer. What about us? Oh yeah, um, I got Kelsey here too. Kelsey got to get in. It's going to center on, it's just, yeah, there you go. And we got Jane, Jane hey, in the back. what up? Um, Greg's going to meet us later, but uh, let's try these beers. Alright, so I got their Hefeweizen and just learned that this uh, brewery here is only about eight months old. So we just came down here just in time. Having the uh, the Hef is a uh, it's a good Hef, man. It's solid Hef. Uh, what do you what do you expect in a Hef? A little bit of clove, banana. No, nope. bright on this great day out here. What 72 degree weather? Hmm, can't beat that. All right, we're at the Stilt House. I'm told this is equivalent to Indiana's sinkhole. Hmm, interesting. So, so look what I have found. Oh, look at that. The sinkhole oh, in the feed store, Indiana. 
Yeah. Well, we're in the dark. Uh, we're in the back of this brewery playing this game. There you go, Kelsey. Oh, oh, no. up. I don't even think people's going to even see this right now. I know. We're like in the back of... Um, we're going to get robbed back here. I'm, and we're not getting robbed, but... A vampire. <laughs> oh, you almost got it, Kelsey. Dang. You almost got it. Uh, you almost hit me in the head, actually. Oh, God. Hey, uh, you probably cannot see none of this. It's a brewery. If there was lights in here, I swear to God, this is brewery equipment. This is brewery equipment, trust me. But we're going to go in here. Um, we just got introduced to the owner, and he's a super nice guy. They have a peanut butter blonde L. What? I'm going to go in here and order that for sure. All right, Greg, you got to tell me what you just you just ordered over here because I just said this is like true craft beer right here. What, what, tell, this, tell us all what you ordered. This is the honey jalapeno cornbread lager. Oh, my God. A cornbread <laughs> lager. Hell yes. I'm getting... Well, it is hell yes. It's called it's hell called yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to get that next. I'm definitely getting that next. Uh, Jane, what would you get? Hey, by the way... Down there. I'm gonna go underneath. Asher's, uh, 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 Asher's in the Asher's in the house. A photograph, autographs, autographs, ten dollars a piece. All right. Uh, Jane got for the first beer of my round. I got Uno Mas. Uno Mas. All right. A wonderful Mexican lager. Oh. Yes. Good. You like really it? Really a good. Yeah. All right. What'd you get? I got the coffee blonde. Oh, of course you did. Of course. If I could pick anything off the list, that would probably be the first thing I would say. Yep, probably Coffee Blonde, because she wants Coffee Blonde. But, you know what I got? I have never had a peanut butter blonde. But here it is. So, we're tasting it. He'll love it. I will tell them. Was that a rhetorical question? I like it. I don't like it a lot. I love peanut butter. Wow, this is good. Craft beer, right? Man, thinking outside the box, I never run into peanut butter. You, you usually run into like peanut butter stouts, peanut butter porters, um, you know. But a peanut butter. A peanut butter sour. Peanut butter blonde? I don't know. Not too many breweries. So this is this is really good. Uh, what, what is this place called again? This is the, the Stilt, Stilt House. The Stilt House. And it's Sean, the owner, who came yes. over and visited. So the Sean, the owner, took us back in the back, let us see his bring equipment. He's on a seven-barrel system. Started out with a three-and-a-half-barrel system, which is awesome. Listen, if you're in Florida, um, around this area, come visit this brewery because they have, like, in my opinion, or in my head, really true craft. Take it out of the box, beer here. Look at the number of beers. <sighs>